are building an organization and building a successful nonprofit board or simply trying to persuade the masses, you have to create the right buy-in first. Jody Holland joins us to discuss the steps to creating buy-in. Jody, this is a great one. Yes, this is a very good one because I think so often as leaders, we're really just trying to get people excited, get them moving forward, trying to do something. But it starts with, do you have the right messaging? So it's the right mission and the right vision that we're gonna start with. So often companies will have a mission statement, but they don't do anything with it. They, they're just like, okay, our mission is to be the best in the Texas Panhandle at whatever it is. Right. Or the best in the world, the best in the state, wherever it is. But you've gotta have a mission that people actually believe in. So it is my mission to reach into people's lives, find their potential, and release it. So I'm helping people find what their greatness is. That's simple, it's easy to understand, but that's what we mess up so often is we don't have that mission and vision clear. Second is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the most contagious thing that we have. And I think from a, think hypnosis. If you're gonna hypnotize somebody, you go to a rock concert. I, I went and saw Pitbull, by the way, this last weekend. Yes. Freaking <laughs> phenomenal, he is amazing. So he's up on stage and he's excited and he's jumping around and they're dancing and there's smoke and there's all kinds of stuff and you're like, I had never seen Pitbull before. I had listened to his music, but when I saw him, it was so enthusiastic, so exciting that I just, I couldn't help but jump around and do everything everybody else was doing. Right. When you have excitement, when you have that enthusiasm, people get motivated to do something. So a big part of creating that buy-in is just, what are you demonstrating in your body language and your facial expressions? Are you excited? Because if you're not excited about where you're going as an organization, nobody else is going to be excited as, as well. So the, finally, you've got to be strategic in your communications. That third piece of it, what you're trying to do is make sure that you, you present things in a way that people can get it. Knowing your audience, knowing what they're like, knowing the messaging, so using visual language, auditory language, and kinesthetic language. So getting an image of things, having a sequence for things, and then getting that emotion or that action involved in it. That's what moves people forward. So those three steps, if you follow them, it's easy to get buy-in. But if you simply stand up and go, yes, today we will be talking about and you present it, but you have no excitement to you, it's not gonna matter what you say. No one's gonna care. No, yeah, nobody yeah. cares if you don't have the excitement yourself. So I wanna go back to the mission statement, because I've had to make some in my life, and I think it's really hard. So do you have any tips on how to create one? So yes, if you're creating a mission statement, there's a few things that you wanna make sure that you stay tuned in on. First thing that you have to watch out for is, do you know what your actual purpose here is? Why are you doing what you're doing? It can't be just for money that is not motivating to your team. They wanna know that they're making a difference. We are hardwired for purpose. So for example, I am here to, and then you fill in the blank, help people find their potential would be an example. So you start with, why are you here? Then you wanna know, why does that matter? And if you have why you're here and why it matters, you've got a great mission statement. There's a number of different things that you can look at. Simon Sinek has some great stuff. If you look for start with why, his YouTube video, you'll get some great ideas for a mission statement. For sure, great stuff. Okay, well, yeah. where can we go for more from you? Two places that you can go. One is if you'll go to jodyholland.com, J-O-D-Y holland.com, or if you go to psycheofsuccess.com. I've got a lot of e-learnings on Psyche of Success, as well as you can find that from jodyholland.com, but it also has all of my events are on jodyholland.com. Perfect, and of course you can send in those texts. Yeah, in. send Jody to 66866 and it'll send back a response asking for your email, and then we'll sign you up for the quick leadership tips every Monday morning at about 5.30 in the morning. Great stuff, Jody. Thank you Love very it. much. And we're building on this next week, so make sure you tune in. Yeah, see you next tune week. Tune in. All right, y'all, Studio 4 will be back after this. Stay tuned for more.